Hello, sports fans. I'm here, Sportsman Z, and I'm back with Game 2 of the 1966 um, Washington Senators taking on the 1988 Oakland A's. And what I'm going to do is I have decided that I won't necessarily play... Um, I won't necessarily play three games. It'll depend on whether they're, whether the, the series is tied at one apiece after two games. But if it's not, then I will um, simply um, end the series right there at two games, and then the team that won the two games is the team that um, will will be obviously declared the winner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a tournament where uh, it, that I've seen, you know, other other channels do and I will um, you know, the the teams that win will advance to the next round against other teams in a best of a best of 3 series. So um that's how we're going to do it because I think it'll be more interesting that way rather than just randomly playing three game series um, against, uh, you know, randomly playing all three games of a three game series. For instance, the, uh, the Senators lost game one of this series. So if they lost this game, what would be the point in watching a third game between the two teams? So that's kind of my thinking on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this game and hopefully we'll see. Um, maybe the Senators can win this game and force the game three. But if they don't, they don't. And that's just how it's going to go. So today's pitching matchup will be Bob Welch for the A's and uh, Mike McCormick for Washington. And for the purposes of the game, we will now the, the series has now moved to Washington, and we'll move back to Oakland if uh, the uh, Senators can manage to win the game. Now again, the Senators in 1966 were 71 and 88, and the Oakland A's were uh, 104 and 58 in 1988. So let's get this game going. Uh, they're going to lead off. Oakland will lead off with Louis Polonia against Mike McCormick. And that is a 2-9, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, and he's out. Brings up Dave Henderson. He gets a 6-7, which is a line out to first base, two away. He's out. And, uh, and then that brings up Canseco, who gets a 4-3, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder is a three. That's Fred Valentine. 19 and three on the outfield is... Uh, roll again. And that's a one and a three. And that's going to be an out. So, the uh, McCormick gets the side... Retires the side there. One, two, three. Same lineups as in game one. And since that was such a good game, why not? Um, oh, yeah, let's see here. Got to write in Welch and McCormick. So we got Fred Valentine up for Washington. 6-8 is a walk. So he works a walk out of uh, um, Bob Welch. And that brings up Fred McMullen. Or Ken, Mc, Ken McMullen. Ken McMullen gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to the right fielder, so that's one away. Uh, 
brings up Frank Howard with a man at first and one out, and that's a 211, which is a ground ball third base A. So that'll be a double play, Frank, uh, Fred, Frank Howard, Frank Howard grounds into a double play to the third baseman, and so no runs come across for Washington, and we go to the top of the second. Jose Canseco gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. And that's a K for McCormick. First one of the game for him, one away. Mark McGuire gets a 4-4, which is a fly ball center field. The center fielder is a 2. That is Don Locke, I believe, and that's a 5-2, which is an out, two away. So McGuire's gone. This this Washington pitching staff has really handled this tough uh, 88 A's lineup very well. Carney Lansford gets a 1-5, which is a pop-out to shortstop. So the A's go 1-2-3 for the second consecutive inning. And uh, we go to the bottom of the second. And that brings up Jim King, the right fielder for the um, Senators. 5-10 is a home run, 1-11, to or a double. And that's going to be a double. So, Jim King rips a double. Hit allowed by, that's, um, yeah, first hit allowed by Welch. First hit allowed by anybody, really, in the game. And that brings up Don Locke, and he gets a single 1-3 to three or a line out to second. And that's going to be, he just misses it, and that's going to be a line out to second base. One out. Ken Harrelson is up, and he gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base A, so two away, runner stays there. And that brings up Paul Kazan over the catcher for Washington. He gets a 6-11 on Welch's card, which is a ground ball to first base. And he is out. And no runs come across for Washington. We're still in a scoreless game going to the top of the third. And the powerful A's coming up to the plate. And their first batter will be Terry Steinbach. And he gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball to center field. And he's out. Brings up Walt Weiss. He gets a 5 9, which is a home run 1 to 16. And that is a home run by Walt Weiss, who only had three that year. So we've had our second unlikely A's player hit a home run. I mean, there's only been three home runs by the A's so far in the two games, and two of them have been by Louis Polonia and Walt Weiss. So, that is an earned run and a home run. One out still. And that brings up Stan Javier. Watch him hit one. 6-10 is a uh, fly ball left field C, two away. So, Stan Javier is out. And that brings up Glenn Hubbard with two down. Nobody on. 4-9 is a single one to 17. And that's going to be an out. He's out. Had a nice chance there to get on, but didn't. But the A's do strike for one on a Walt Weiss home run. And lead one nothing. So the Senators coming up, bottom of the third, Bob Saverin. He gets a 4-8, which is a double one to 13. And that's a double. Another double. Second hit allowed by Welch. Ed Brinkman up. He gets a 310, which is a double one to 14. And that's going to be a single double asterisk to knock in the tying run. And he's got two RBIs in this series. And that's an earned run going on Welch's record, which brings up Fred Valentine, top of the order, 4-7, 
is a ground ball second base X. That's Hubbard. He's a three. That's a one, so that's going to be a single double asterisk. And runners are right at the corner. Valentine with a hit. Another hit allowed. Bad inning here for Welch. Fred McMullen up, and he gets a two. What is that? Seven is a double one to two single double asterisk. And that's a double. So that knocks in at least one. Ken McMullen. That's another hit. Another earned run at least. And uh, the runner is... Um, hmm. The runner is Fred Valentine. He's a 1-16 to running against the, the center fielder. And the center fielder's arm is... Uh, that's Henderson, who probably also has a good arm. Negative 2. 1 to 16 goes to 1 to 14. They're still going to try it. And he does make it. So that's another run. And now that brings up uh, Frank Howard, their home run hitter that year. 6 8. He gets a walk. So Welch can't even get anybody out here, which is a problem. And that brings up Jim King. Jim King gets a single. He keeps the keeps the line moving. And uh, I don't know if we're really gonna want to try. He's and really he's been a force this year or this uh, series. Um, I think. But the runner is, I don't know, they're going to keep it right how it is because there's no outs. Don Locke is up and he gets a 1-7, which is a double 1-8 to eight or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a double that knocks in two runs. Well, uh, you know what? That's the fifth run that come that's come across, so there's gonna be action definitely in the A's bullpen. Now remember the A's they have a uh, they're gonna get Todd Burns up in the bullpen. They've got a they've got a a powerful lineup, it just hasn't really shown up yet. So Anyway, we've got Don Locke coming up. And he gets a 1-5, which is a single, which knocks in another run. So, Welch right now has given up 8 hits, 2 walks, and 6 runs. And Ken Harrelson's up, and he gets a 4-8. And that is a double one to 13. Are you kidding me? S a single, or no, double, double. That is a double. Knocks in a run. Well, this is, um, this is really unexpected, especially against Bob Welch. All right, that's it. They're going to bring in Burns. So... Um, Welch goes, he just goes two, because there isn't even an out yet. And they bring in Burns. Casanova's up. And that's a 4-8 on Burns, which is a ground ball shortstop. So, the shortstop is Weiss, he's a two, and that is... A six. So six and two at short is an out three. So um, I guess the runners hold, so there's one away. Um, Casanova was out.
Bob Saverin is up, and he gets a 111, which is a single and knocks in another run. That's a hit given up by Burns, but the run goes is charged to um, White or um, Welch. Brinkman up, and he gets a 511, which is a ground ball first base. The first baseman for the A's is McGuire, and he's a three, and that's a 16, and that is a one base error. So it's just really snowing here. Uh, Brinkman is on by an error by uh, McGuire, and no earned run on that. But it is another run that comes across for the ninth run of the inning. Fred Valentine gets a 1 7, which is a ground ball double play, and finally they're out of the inning. But not before Washington strikes for an unlikely nine runs and takes a 9 to 1 lead. So you might have to assume that we're going to have a game three. Lewis Polonia steps up, and that's a pop out to second base. Dave Henderson is up, and that's a 3 2, which is a strikeout. And Canseco comes up, and that's a 4 8, which is a fly ball to center field. So Canseco is out. McCormick, except for the Solo home run by Weiss has really controlled the A's big time. Ken McMullen is up, and that's a 2-7, which is a double 1-2 to or a single. These guys, they just can't stop hitting. They get a single. Frank Howard gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout. Actually, he, Frank Howard, surprising, has been one of the, the worst guys for the, uh, for the uh, Senators in this series. Jim King gets a 6-3. 6-3 is a fly ball left field X. The left fielder is a 1. So that's Dan Javier. He is out to away. And Don Locke. Don Locke gets a 5-8, which is a pop-out to first base. So, no runs for Washington there, but they still have a 9-1 lead. So, a 9-2-1 lead, an 8-run lead. McGuire comes up, he gets a 6-5, which is a fly ball left field. So, there's one away. And uh, Burns was one of those multi-inning guys. He was he flipped between starting and relieving, so he can go a, quite a few innings. 310 for uh, Lansford is a pop out to third base, so Lansford's out. And Terry Steinbach is a 4-5, and that is a ground ball to second base C, or wait, is a strikeout. So Steinbach strikes out. And we have no runs across for Oakland there. That brings up Ken Harrelson for Washington, 6-7. That's a walk. So Harrelson is aboard with a walk. Paul Casanova's up. He gets a 5-10, which is a fly ball left field B, so he's out. So that is, that's the first out, I think. One away. Bob Saverin is up, 6-8, which is a single one to 14. And that's, no, it's an out. So it's a uh, line out to the shortstop for Saverin. And then that brings up Brinkman, Ed Brinkman, the shortstop. And he gets a 5-9, which is a fly ball, center field B, and he's out. So the uh, Washington gets nothing in the fifth. There's going to be some action in the A's bullpen now. 
and uh, that's going to be, let's see, who is that going to be? Gene Nelson will get up in the A's bullpen. Walt Weiss coming up in the top of the sixth. McCormick still has only allowed one hit, struck out three, and the one hit was a home run by Weiss. And here he is. Here's Weiss. One six is a pop out to second base, one away. Stan Javier is uh, 111, which is a ground ball shortstop A. And that brings up Glenn Mother Hubbard, and he gets a fly ball center field B. And he is out. No runs for Oakland in the sixth. And Gene Nelson is coming in. Burns goes one, two, three, four. He goes four innings. And that brings up Fred Valentine, top of the order for the team. And they got a triple one to eight double. Triple. That is going to be a triple for Fred Valentine. Now watch. Next game, they'll be hard-pressed to get any runs. And, uh, and, and would potentially cost them the game. But we'll see, because really... They played two very good games against this uh, A's team. Ken McMullen is up. And he gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. Nelson strikes him out. One away. That brings up uh, Frank Howard. 4-9 is a fly ball left field C, so he's out. Oh, wait a minute. Fly ball left field C. I think that runners hold on that. Yep, runners hold, so it can't doesn't score him. And that was McMullen. Or no, that was uh, that was Howard. Two down, runner still out, out there at third. Jim King up, and he gets a 6-8, which is a fly ball B, but it doesn't matter. It was the last out, so the run doesn't score. We go to the top of the seventh. And that brings up... Uh, Louis Polonia with a 5-5. Five, five. It's a strikeout. And that brings up Henderson. Henderson gets a home run 1-19 to or a double. And he does get a home run. That is another run for the A's. But it's still, they're still quite a ways away. And now, with that hit, McCormick has now given up two hits. They're both homers, and those are the only two hits. Canseco is up, and that's a 4-8, which is a fly ball center field B, two away. Canseco is out, and that brings up McGuire, his bash brother buddy. And he gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball center field B. So McGuire's out. They do get one run, but it's still 9-2. to two. Don Locke up the plate. He gets a 2-6, which is a walk. Ken Harrelson gets a 1-12, which is a line out to third base. So and into as many outs as possible, so it's a double play. He lines out into a double play. Uh, line out to uh, third base. Two out, nobody on, Casanova up, and he gets a 5-4, which is a triple 1-4 or a single. And that's 
that's going to be a single for Casanova. And Bob Saverin gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball center field B. So no runs for Washington there. We go to the top of the eighth. Lansford up, 6-4 is a fly ball center field B, one away. So, yeah, McCormick has been really nearly untouchable except for two home runs. 5-6 is a line out to shortstop for Steinbach. And that brings up Walt Weiss, who has a home run today already and pops out to short on that particular at bat. Bottom of the eighth. Score is 9-2 Washington. Brinkman up. 5-6 is a ground ball second base X. Their second baseman for yeah, that's Saverin. He's a 16. Second base 16 and 4 is an out. So, oh, wait a minute. No, this is um, for the A's. Yeah, see, this is where I lose my concentration. Um, all right, so 16-3 at second base is still an out. So Brinkman's out, one away. Valentine's up, and he gets a 2-8, which is a single. Brings up McMullen, 4-9. That's a fly ball left field C, two away. And that brings up Frank Howard, and he gets a 311, which is a ground ball shortstop A. So he is out, and that's the end of the eighth. And uh, that brings up the uh, A's, who need to get seven runs right here. Javier is up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a fly ball right field, one away. Glenn Hubbard, 6-12, is a fly ball left field C. That's two away. And Louis Polonia gets a 1-8, which is a single. That's the first marker for the A's that we've had on the base pads because the other two hits that McCormick allowed were both homers. And Henderson is up and he gets 2-8, which is a double. The A's need base runners, so they're not even going to bother to send the guy because they have to have a lot more than just that. And that brings up Canseco, and Canseco gets a strikeout and that is going to be it, I believe. Is that it? One. Yeah. So that's it. The uh, A's get no runs there, and they go down in game two of this series by the score of nine to two. So we are going to have a game three between these two teams. To decide which one goes on in my tournament of teams yet to be determined. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. We'll see you back in Oakland for game number three.